Hi, so here we are uh, back in the uh, shack and uh, we're just going to look at uh, um, uh, a couple of things on the uh, computer. Right, so we're just going to look at the um, the on 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 the laptop here. Uh, a friend of mine has very kindly um, done a little bit of work for me because I don't normally use these um, these uh, antenna analyzer software on the internet, but we're just basically going to have a quick look. So anyway, um, let's get right into it. This is uh, this is the radius pattern from from uh, just a single vertical an antenna, and this is what we get with the uh, um, the vertical antenna with one reflector behind it. Um, we get a slightly different, uh, slightly different lobe, more gain, obviously in uh, one direction, which uh, which I want, which was uh, quite nice. And then we'll look at the um, the antenna results with uh, two reflectors uh, behind. So by what the uh, software tells us we now got um, with a single vertical and two reflectors behind it um, we get um, a big change in the uh, in the radiating radiation uh, pattern with um, all all in favor of long path which is a as I said earlier I'm looking for and um, and quite quite a uh, quite a strong null behind so um, as I said earlier, I think maybe not. It might have improved again um, a wee bit, but I think it's actually uh, improved in the sense that uh, because of the null uh, behind it, it actually would reduce the noise quite a lot. And when I go on the radio later, what I'm actually expecting, uh, as I said, as I said before, I'm expecting the, the noise on receive to have gone down, and 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 signals to. Uh, signals to have gone up um, a little so we might be able to tune across the band and it seems fairly quiet then all of a sudden we'll get a strong signal signal come uh, come uh, flying out of nowhere so here we are in this shack later on in the day and we're about uh, one hour from darkness just come up the gray line and we're just going to see what's happening with the three element uh, vertical array firing long path and uh, the CQ calls that I just put out on CW uh, immediately brought back uh, quite a lot of spots into uh, into Europe and um, just just comparing the um, the signal reports I'm getting uh, from the same places in Europe over the last um, five or six evenings because um, I'm just looking at the uh, the DB uh, reports that I'm getting uh, I, I would I would say that uh, most are at least one S point stronger compared to uh, the last uh, five five evenings I've been on the radio um, and some even even higher uh, one report into uh, Austria has given me uh, 18 dB and um, that's normally uh, normally around uh, uh, around it's averaged about 12 dB for the last five nights I know it's dependent on propagation and everything else but it's just a rough idea of um, it, it the the um, the wee painting poles made into a three element uh, firing long path uh, seems to make a difference now actually on the radio itself um uh, uh, so here we are in this shack later on in the day and we're about uh, one hour from darkness just come up the gray line and we're just going to see what's happening with the three element uh, vertical array firing long path and uh, the CQ calls that I just put out on CW uh, 
uh, amazingly brought back uh, quite a lot of spots into uh, into Europe and um, just just comparing the um, the signal reports I'm getting uh, from the same places in Europe over the last um, five or six evenings because um, I'm just looking at the uh, the DB uh, reports that I'm getting uh, I, I would I would say that uh, most are at least one S point stronger compared to uh, the last uh, five five evenings I've been on the radio, uh, and some even even higher. Uh, one report into uh, Austria has given me uh, eighteen dB, and. Um, that's normally uh, normally around uh, uh, around it's averaged about 12 dB for the last five nights. I know it's dependent on propagation and everything else, but it's just a rough idea of um, it. It the the um, the wee painting poles made into a three element uh, firing long path uh, seems to make a difference. Now, actually, on the radio itself. Um, uh, I I I immediately know that the noise level has gone down uh, simply because I have the audio I have the audio level normally set in the same place all the time, and uh, this evening uh, the, the uh, there's nothing on the uh, nothing on the S meter um, showing noise. I'll just move that um, um, that light away. And uh, it's to get the to get the same noise I used to have with the uh, with the ver with the single vertical uh, and the two element, I've got to turn the volume up quite quite a long way to about there. I would say uh, with uh, just my ears tell me that's where it normally is. So, if nothing else, I think the noise has reduced, and I'm hoping through uh, reading on the internet about this type of uh, aerial. The noise level should have uh, dropped down, and signals should uh, the band should fairly seems fairly uh, seems fairly dead or fairly quiet, and so if signals uh, are popping out from nowhere, um, which is, is sort of what I what I expect to happen. So just turn the volume up a wee bit, and we'll have a tune through quick tune through CW sideband, and we'll see how we get on, and uh, sort of the proof in the pudding will be a bit later on. When I, I have a couple of sked QSOs that I have every evening, and we'll just see if, uh, without telling the other station, to see if they think there's um, uh, if the propagation is better or whether my signal is better. So let's have a quick listen through. Twenty meters CW. Very strong signal. Nothing on the S meter at all. Um, I actually have the. Um, no, sorry. I was about to say I have the have the RF gain down, but I, I haven't. It's on a hundred percent. So, not much noise. Um, Italian station, very strong. Let's keep uh, moving along. Let's have a quick listen around. And uh, it seems to be the case that the noise level has been reduced with the uh, third reflector on. And um, um, quite loud signals. I'm not totally uh, understanding why the strong signals don't give the S uh, meter a, a wee uh, uh, a wee operation, but there you go. Still, I want to turn the uh, volume up because I can't, in between signals it seems like the band is is dead. But obviously we can see there's uh, signals there. Tune across quickly and oh, dear me. Quite strong signals. 
not a lot of stations on 20 yet, it's still a bit early. Let's just uh, go up into um, sideband and have a look. So again, I, I think that the noise level from what I'm used to has definitely gone down. Let's see if we can pick any, uh, any stations out. F fairly quiet. Victor Kilo station is pile up on somebody there. I'll just pass over him. So I'm still convinced that Whiskey One Delta Radio Victor. Good morning, good morning. You're five nine fifty nine. My name is Tony Tango Ocean November Yankee. Tony, it's my name. How do you copy over? Yeah, I'm still convinced the noise uh, noise level has gone down with that third uh, reflector. Um, sorry, second reflector. Um, still not quite sure why the yes meter is not. Uh, not jumping up, but signals are coming through. So there we go. Um, quite satisfied uh, and quite happy with the results of the three element. A vertical antenna and uh, in the last few days since um, um, sort of sorting everything out and uh, and trying it on the air I've had uh, some some good uh, contacts into um, uh, into Spain and uh, general Europe and also um, into uh, in the northern Scotland which is uh, quite amazing considering um, the the bands are uh, here anyway the bands are so poor so um yeah i'm quite happy with uh, that um nine uh, nine dollar <laughs> three element vertical antenna firing uh, firing long path thanks for watching